Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be learning how to check the integrity of a file by comparing checksums. This is a fairly simple process using Linux in a terminal. Today I'll be using Ubuntu to demonstrate this. Let's go ahead and get started real quick. First we want to launch a terminal, so I'm going up here to activities and launching my terminal. You can launch whatever terminal your Linux system has. And for an example, I'll just use the Kali Linux ISO file since they have the hash available on their website to check the file integrity. And just to show you the image that I will be checking the integrity of today, I'm using the Kali Linux 64-bit net installer, which has its hash right here and it's of an algorithm type SHA-256 checksum. Now, of course, you can use this with whatever file that you have, and as long as you have the checksum available somewhere on their website, so you can check the integrity of what you downloaded versus what their checksum is, so you know you have a valid file and it's not corrupted. Make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Here in Linux, there's a terminal command called SHA, and if I tab a couple times, we can see all the different forms that we have of SHA available to us. We have the SHA1, 224, 256, 384, and 512 all available to us by default. So depending on what type of hash algorithm was supplied to you, you can use any of these commands instead of the one I'm about to use. So since on the website they mention it's an SHA-256 algorithm or encryption, I'll be using this one. So I'm gonna type SHA-256 followed by sum and then put a space. Now I wanna locate the file on my system that I want to compare the checksum of. And I can do this by navigating to the directory where it's located. Mine's located in downloads and it's the Kali image. So I have my Kali Linux 2020.3 installer it's the net installer, the AMD 64-bit architecture.iso file. And the next thing I want to do is put a pipe and then space, and I'll type in grep. This will help us compare the SHA-256 sum output with what was given to us on the website. So I'll paste in what was on the website here, and then I'll press enter. And once things are done, so if we get an output here, which we did here in red, that means that grep did find a match for what we are looking for. Meaning once everything was resolved by the SHA-256 algorithm, we got an output and the output actually matched what we were searching for. And it's really that easy. You also have the option of using MD5 sum. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. So let's see what would happen if we changed up the last number here in the checksum that we're looking for. I'm gonna change the three to a four and press enter. Give it a few moments here. And no result was actually returned to us. This is because it did not find this match with what was actually output of the SHA-256 sum. Therefore, something's wrong with what we downloaded because it didn't match what we're expecting the hash to be. And that's simply how you check the integrity of a file here in Linux using a terminal. Most Linux systems come with all of these hash algorithms by default. So you can use any of the other ones. Let's say you have an SHA-512 algorithm. You can use the SHA-512 sum and then put in the file location. So something like path to file, then space. We'll pipe that over to grep and then you'll put your checksum here in, in place of this. This will be the general format and we can use this across the board. And just to drive things home, we have the availability of checking for the following. SHA1 checksums, 224 checksums, 256, 384, 512. And let me show you how you would do that. You also have the availability of checking an MD5 hash by using MD5 sum. So here are my text editor. I'll show you the variations you can use. So we have all of the various different hash algorithms, and then we have to specify a path to the file. We'll follow that up with the pipe symbol, then grep, and then paste in your checksum that you're checking against. Well, that's really it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.